In this presentation, the fixation of a long spiral metacarpal fracture will be demonstrated using two 2.0 mm lag screws. The skin incision is not made directly over the metacarpal and extensor tendon, but offset between two metacarpals. Upon completion of this exercise, you should be able to describe the surgical approach for a spiral metacarpal fracture, explain the reduction technique, and perform the fixation of the spiral metacarpal fracture using two lag screws. This procedure is indicated in cases with spiral and long oblique metacarpal fractures, a minimal fracture length of at least twice the diameter of the metacarpal at the fracture level, and no comminution zone. The patient is positioned supine on the operating table with the arm placed on an arm table at the level of the shoulder joint. The use of a tourniquet is strongly recommended. A fluoroscope is positioned opposite the surgeon to allow intraoperative radiological examination. The approach to the third and fourth metacarpals is made through a dorsal longitudinal skin incision between these two bones. On the bone model, the fourth metacarpal is palpated as is the interval between the fractured and the neighboring metacarpal. Depending on the fracture pattern or any soft tissue lesions, the approach is made between the third and fourth or fourth and fifth metacarpal. To reduce the risk of peritendinous adhesion, incisions directly over the course of the extensor tendons should be avoided. In this exercise, the approach is made between the fourth and the fifth metacarpals. The longitudinal incision is made through the soft tissue. The dissection is continued to the level of the extensor tendons. The blunt hooks have been inserted and the extensor tendons are identified. The junctura tendinum is incised. Ensure that the nerve branches as well as the longitudinally running veins are protected. The extensor tendon is held to the radial side to allow access to the fracture site. A small retractor is inserted and the fracture is exposed by detaching the interosseous musculature subperiosteally. The required instruments are the small pointed reduction forceps, the 2.0 1.5mm double drill sleeve, the 1.5mm drill bit, which is used to drill the thread hole, the 2.0mm drill bit, which is used to drill the gliding hole, the countersink, the depth gauge for 1.3, 1.5 and 2.0mm screws, and the screwdriver handle with the star drive screwdriver shaft. To check for interposed soft tissues and additional fracture lines, the fracture zone can be better visualized by rotating the distal fragment away from the proximal fragment. By opening the fracture, the fracture plane and the size of the fragments are visualized to precisely determine the subsequent screw position. After anatomical reduction, the reduction is maintained with a small reduction forceps using axial pull and rotation. The 2.0 double drill sleeve is placed on the metacarpal and the gliding hole is drilled with the 2.0 millimeter drill bit. The drill sleeve is rotated and the 1.5 millimeter sleeve is inserted into the gliding hole as an insert drill sleeve. The thread hole is then drilled through the opposite cortex with the 1.5 millimeter drill bit. The near cortex is recessed with a countersink to decrease the prominence of the screw head and enlarge the surface in contact with the screw head in hard cortical bone. The length of the screw is determined with the depth gauge. The first 2.0 mm screw is inserted and the head is countersunk in the cortex. 
At this stage, the screw is not fully tightened. A second lag screw is inserted. A different technique is shown here, the so-called small bone technique. A minimum distance, which corresponds to the size of the screw head between the screw hole and a fracture line, is respected to ensure that the screw hole is not too close to the fracture lines. The thread hole is drilled with the 1.5 mm drill bit through both the near and the far cortices. The drill sleeve is rotated and a gliding hole is drilled with the 2.0 mm drill bit through the near cortex only. The cortex is carefully countersunk. The second 2.0 mm lag screw is inserted. The reduction forceps is removed. Alternating between the two screws, they are now tightened completely. This completes the reduction. The fixation is now stable enough for light exercise. You should now be able to Describe the surgical approach for a spiral metacarpal fracture. Explain the reduction technique. And perform the fixation of the spiral metacarpal fracture using two lag screws.